We learn from history that we do not learn from history. The average American smoked about 10 cigarettes a day in 1950. Smoking was normal. Santa Claus, kids, dogs and even your doctor recommended you to smoke. People actually thought smoking was healthy. A vacation for your throat. It's crazy talking about this in 2017. I mean today there are terrible pictures printed on cigarette packs. But it took over 25 years and 7,000 studies until the first general report came out and the science was considered clear. Mainly due to the immense amount the cigarette industry spent on marketing their products and the obstacles it put the medical community in the way. Today, the meat, dairy and eggs industry are doing the same. I remember when a good friend of mine started smoking 5 years ago. I was completely pissed off at him. I told him that it is completely unhealthy and that he shouldn't expect a long life. At the same time, I was eating a shit ton of chicken every single day. Little did I know that I was actually at the same, if not even a higher risk of death than he was. According to the Global Burden of Disease study, which is the biggest study on disease and death in general, the number one leading risk factor of disability and death were, according to this big study, dietary risks, followed by smoking. Dietary risks, killing hundreds of thousands more than smoking. Which means you will find death as much in your fridge as you will find in your cigarette pack. When I was working in an old age home about two years ago, there was this really lovely old woman. I've had the pleasure to spend time with her and entertain her while I was working there. One sad day, her daughter came to visit her and told her that the lovely lady's son or the brother of the daughter died because of cancer. The old lady just completely bursted out in tears and needed multiple tissues. The problem was just that it wasn't the first time the daughter told her this story. Her son died about six months ago and she just kept on forgetting it. This is called dementia and it's really, really bad. And according to science, it may be caused by animal products. Animal products contain cholesterol, which plague up in your arteries and restrict blood flow to certain areas. This can lead to dementia, erectile dysfunction and even worse, strokes or heart attacks. If you're over the age of 10, the question isn't whether you want to prevent heart or brain disease. The question is whether or not you want to reverse it. But there are effects of your diet that are more immediate though. I remember my mother telling me after I went from a heavy meat diet to a vegetarian diet that I've become more calm. I indeed remember being more angry as a meat eater than I was eating plants. It didn't make sense in the beginning until I realized that animal foods are generally pro-inflammatory, which means they create inflammation in your body. This means stress for your body and diversening of your mood. Removing stress from your diet brings you more energy and a better well-being. And don't forget that plants contain less calories, which makes weight loss far easier. Check out the vegan shape system for that. I would really love to own a motorbike one day. I honestly think driving one is pure freedom and happiness. Although motorbike drivers are 34 times more likely to die in a crash, personally I think the risk is worth it for me. And more importantly, I'm aware of the risk I put myself into. Are you aware of the risk that you take every day? Within 15 years of stopping smoking, your risk of developing lung cancer approaches that of a lifelong non-smoker. Within two weeks on a plant-based diet, your immune system can be improved dramatically. Your body has amazing healing capabilities. The problem is that we injure our body day after day, be it with smoking or with our food choices. But most people don't even know that they're putting themselves at risk, so they need to be informed. The only thing I can give you today is the information that your eating habits may not only worsen your life, 
but are also destroying the planet and the lives of sentient beings around you. In the end, you have to make the decision. So are the benefits worth the risk for you?